Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cybergamer Advanced Warfare Astro Championship Series CGP League match here between True Ambition and XL5 T1 Dotters. I'm Mike Snit, joined by Lockdog. And Lockdog, might I tell you, it feels finally good to have a co-caster at the end of the day. But not only that, you have joined me for a great match here in tonight's CGP League. Yeah, definitely should be a huge match between uh, True Ambition and X5 T1. Uh, we'll jump on board with True Ambition, see what they can do at the start. And H220K, he's got the Amelie out straight away. They're going to get first points on the board, but X5, they've started to control the middle of the map. And that should mean that they can rack up a few points at least on this pool hard point, but you wouldn't expect too much of a lead to start off here on Solar. Yeah, and I mean, these teams have both had a little bit of practice with uh, with competition play earlier in the day. Of course, we did have both these teams competing in our pay-to-play competition. The difference is, however, is that XL5 made it all the way to the grand final, whereas True Ambition got knocked out a little earlier on. So if they've been waiting, they, they've been waiting quite a long time, whereas XL5 just came off an incredible series, and they're, they're warmed up and ready to go. Yeah, it definitely uh, is an advantage to be uh, just coming straight out of a previous series having uh, having just your shots all ready on you're already warmed up you're ready to go into the game and uh, X5 started off well and SA is showing exactly why 7 and 1 currently sitting up here in heaven just trying to find some more kills as they come off spawn over on the car park side but he's got to get out of there he's been stunned twice and uh, that was always going to be a uh, bad situation for him to be in damage, picking up one kill. Chilean's taking two, and a lot of shots going out from damage before he drops. But yet again, X5, they're dropping, but they're still managing to keep the hard point contested or in their favor. I mean, that they are, and you're going to be seeing 26 points and counting to 17 with 18 seconds remaining in this hard point. It will rotate over onto the factory up next, but, I mean, you you, you called it. They're still being able to keep this hard point in their favor. They've always got to play in this hard point, and they're, they're always going to play to pick off those kills after one or two die after that. And with three seconds remaining, they're going to have the exact same setup over all. They're going to try to make that exact same setup over onto this factory side, but it is True Ambition who are there right now trying to control this one. They've got players in this one. It's going to be Physique, who is holding in this back hard point, but there's going to be a player to contest him. He turns around, he tries to find him, but he will get taken. Now, Carnage taking on Izay here in this hard point. Izay walk away the victor of that, but Kriv comes on in. And this is the same situation we were seeing last time, but this time flipped and reversed. Every time there's a player drops, there's a secondary player there to take his place and pick off the kill, and it just keeps on going in an endless cycle. Yeah, it does. And uh, X5, they are just continuing to keep that hill contested all the time, even when they uh, don't have control of it. It's just contested at the moment. It's uh, in control of the team of True Ambition. Chilean's just trying to put some shots out. He is up top, trying to slay out. Only 13 seconds left on this hill, so the players have started to rotate as soon as they spawn. Issei picks up a nice two-piece there to get control of the last few seconds, but the rotation already has come out from True Ambition. All four players up near the car park, and that should mean that they get control of it. They get the spawns up there, and now it's going to be up to X5 to try and break this one. Issei, though, he's 15 and 6. He definitely needs to try and uh, get his teammates as hyped as he is at the moment and get them into the game because all of them currently negative in terms of KD. They need to step up. Let's jump on board with Fate, see if he can uh, do exactly that. Yeah, let's jump on board with him indeed as he will be able to pick off one kill. Ize and Chilians, of course, picking up their respective kills as well. And that's actually one thing I do need to point out that in the difference between their pay-to-play ODC lineup and the league match is that they're obviously they're not using Beast and Chilians, the main core play here for the team is actually playing this league match of course as as you know he's in the lineup so while they might have been using the pay to play as land practice for the upcoming does play land they're back to their core roster for this one and chills doesn't really look like he skipped a beat i mean he might be 11 to 11 but he's, he's you know he's got those captures he's, he's, he's playing well for his team and they're just working well here x5 as they have the lead 70 points and counting to 53 yeah it's uh it's a good, good effort by Chileans, as you said, just to come off basically no competition play all day and everyone else in this game has played some competition, especially his teammates on X5 just uh, going big, getting to the grand final against Mindfreak there. Chilean does get dropped, but i got to say, 
Yes, sir, he is still 20 and 8. He's over got, a, got over a 2 KD there, 20 points ahead at the moment. True Ambition do get control of the hill through H220K. And Hunter getting a lot of kills. He's using that AK-12. He will pick up a double kill there as he backs off. He's just going to sit up on Catwalk here, trying to pick off kills as he regens. He gets taken down. Fate on the hill also gets dropped. So Kriv, Carnage, and Fazek also jumping on this hill, making sure that they're getting those catch-up points. Going only 15 points behind now, 15 seconds left before the kill restarts and goes back to that pool hard point to start the rotation yet again. Let's see what Carnage can do as he's going to contest this hard point, but he turns around at the wrong time and Chilians takes him down from behind. That control that True Ambition did have led them to be able to catch back up quite extensively here in this hard point. However, it just wasn't enough and XL5 still have this lead. However, they've got this control of this current hard point back, of course, located at the pool side. The initial rotation is back in play here. Pool to then go over to that B Street. And you do see them now being one point for difference. Now they're going to be able to take the lead. And XL5, they really haven't had much control in these last two hard points. You see them trying to pick off these kills. And I mean, you, you even notice, um, you know, it, even the players like Ize and Fate and Damage and Chilians, they might be getting a couple of these kills, but they're, they're losing that control. And now they've only really started to, to regain that back. Yeah, well... If you look at the scoreboard, it's only Issei that's going positive for the team of X5, and I guess that's why team of True Ambition have been able to stay in this one. Issei's getting a lot of kills around the hills, but not really controlling it uh, inside the hills. He's just getting spawns at the moment, making sure they've got top spawn for the next hard point. Damage actually sitting up top on the roof of solar panels and trying to put some shots out there as he does get taken down. Can't quite get it, but his team all do spawn along up with Issei, and now they can push it down rather than pushing all the way up from dirt on that side. And now the X5 guys should be able to take control of this hill, but they get four down. Kriv going big on that hard point. Carnage getting a two-piece as well. And that is going to be true ambition yet again. Starting to rack up even more points. They're in front now after being behind for most of this game. That they are. And, I mean, 113 points to 106. It isn't a big lead, but a lead is a lead. And they're going to try and, you know, try and make something happen. But XL5 have come into this hard point. They've tied it back up. They've now put points on the board to take the lead. And now they're going to be trying to control this B Street. You see them just constantly flooding this hard point, stomping on it, getting these kills. And with five seconds remaining, teams are now going to set up over onto this factory side. It is going to be XL5 who have this control. The spawns from True Ambition were on the other side of the map. So they've got that advantage already. And you see Fate, he's just going to be on these stairs. It's going to be just in case someone goes into the side room, in case someone wants to push it over and jump on up. As always, in a perfect position for that. But now as he jumps on up, he knows there's a couple of players going to be pushing in. So try to go for a flank. Now he got taken down, which has allowed True Ambition to push on in. But XL5 is still planning their next play forward. And still, it's a one-point game with two and a half minutes left on the clock. Yeah, at the start of this hill, is they actually pushed up towards glass to try and block that spawn to allow the uh, tram or to force the true ambition guys to spawn over near the previous hard point. It didn't work though. They all spawned around him, took him down, and then they had control of the car park side of dirt. And uh, then they were able to flood in and get some points off this hard point, which is why they've been able to control it so well. And X5 just struggling to get in here at the moment. Hunter. Big kills with that AK-12. He does get dropped. Crib currently sitting on hill. Sees one jump around behind him. Gets a lot of tags. Not quite being able to pick up that kill. He's going to go for that reload, though. Has time to do so. Finally takes down Issei there, securing the last few points of that hill. But Issei would have spawned a lot closer to the next hard point than he, than Crib is at the moment. So Crib, he's going to rely on his teammates to do the work for him as they control the hard point well. And they are now looking at almost a 30-point lead that they are but you got to keep in mind that xl5 you can't rule them out without a little bit of a fight as that 32 point lead and uh and again counting is, is increasing for true ambition xl5 are trying to push into this hard point itself now that's 80 seconds remaining in this game that's plenty of time to change the tide here but it does seem like uh the the score streaks are coming out of true ambition and they're picking off those kills and helping them uh yeah basically give it to x5 yeah, the uh, the uh, Rivs 
uh, score streaks just going big for him there, and Hunter was just uh, swapping guns. He didn't really need to do anything at all on that last hard point. He does now as he picks up one kill with that AK-12, trying to find some more kills. He's put some shots out. His teammate's going to pick up that kill anyway. They're going to start controlling this final hard point here again, and they are so far in front that I don't actually believe it's possible for the team of X5 to come back into this one. X5, they were in front from a majority of the first rotation, but since then, True Ambition have just been way too strong in terms of their rotations and their ability to get all the kills. 34 and 24 currently for Carnage. Make that 35 as he turns on another. There's the triple for Carnage. 36 and 25. And two players also own 31. That's Kriv and H220K. So some big numbers coming out of True Ambition squad. That it is. And as you mentioned, I mean, they're going to hit the 200 point mark, but they're also going to be able to take out that victory. By the time this hard point had rotated over, there just wasn't enough time for them to catch back up. And they're going to make that lead a 206 point to 141 victory there at the end of that one. Unfortunately, XL5 just, they opened up with a bang. They just couldn't continue it over. And, and that is going to a... Uh, to be that overall map victory. So they, they played well in there, True Ambition, and they're going to take the series lead now 1-0. to zero. Now it's just a straight best of five series, so we'll now see if they can pop, maybe keep it up. It's going to be a surging straight up next. Stay tuned, because we've got more action coming up next in our CGA WACS CGP League match here between True Ambition and XL5. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Cyber Gamer Advanced Warfare Astro Championship Series CGP League match between True Ambition and XL5 T1. Dotters. Currently, the overall series scoreline is in favor of True Ambition 1 to 0. Here in this Search and Destroy Biolab, XL5 will ideally be looking to uh, to get a little bit of vengeance out of that one. I'm nicely joined by Lock Dog. And Lock, who do you think uh, is going to take? Is going to walk away with this map? I can't call the map yet, but. Scopes coming out left, right, and center damage. Taking the headshot there on Kriv. It was Carnage that got first blood there on Issa. Fate going down to a nade from H220K. And uh, X5, they've got two players up. They need to uh, make a play towards at least one of these bomb sites. They're over on the A side, but it doesn't really look like they want to make anything happen there. They want to try and rotate, but they need to get some kills before they look at going towards a bomb site. So we'll see what they can do. They're both rotating a long way outside snow to try and get into this B side of the uh, of the map. But if, uh, if they don't make something happen soon, then they're just going to be pinched. They're just going to Get, uh, get poked on bomb. Uh, as damage is going to start putting that bomb down. Chileans needs to just overwatch him from the other side. The nade comes in, doesn't take any kills. The bomb does go down. So 2v3, and now X5, they should be able to at least pick up one or two kills as the players from True Ambition start to push in. 35, 30 seconds left on the timer. And none of the True Ambition players actually went for the defuse there. Damage will take down Physique, and now it's going to be a 2v2. And still, none of the True Ambition players playing that bomb. We do have uh, Hunter being able to take down damage. He's looking for a second. Chill's going to be the last one alive. So he does need to just hold this one out and try and see if we can just stop them from being on that bomb. Now he's able to take down Tags on one, but he wasn't expecting the player to contest with him. So that's going to be the defuse. And that is, uh, you know, going to be the round win to the team of True Ambition. So they've started off with a good hard point victory. They've moved over to search and destroy, and they've opened up with a great round victory for them. They're off to a great start. And, I mean... You, you can't blame them with the way they're playing. No, they're playing extremely well, and they uh, they pushed that bomb site well. As soon as the bomb went down, didn't try and poke it too early. They just waited for that bomb to go down to be certain exactly where the X5 players were. They pushed in, they got the kills, and then they got the defuse. So nice play by them, but damage is nades. Taking down two, and that's going to be Carnage dropping for a, a scope from Chileans, and now Kriv. He's got the scope in the ASM, but he's got four players from X5 to deal with. It's going to be a tricky situation for him right now, as we'll see what they can possibly do. As uh, you know, he'll he'll still be looking. He'll still be looking to to maybe make some plays. He wants this first kill, but he doesn't know exactly where that one is going to be. Still needs to rotate for this bomb. He's going to see Chileans, and he's going to fall to his death. That is unfortunate, but that is going to even up the scoreline here, one to one, and. And Chilean's here on your round, and the kill cam will be able to be the one to pick off that kill. We did see it from, of course, Kriv's perspective earlier on. But, I mean, that even things back up to, to one to one lock. With uh, with both of these teams being, you know, quite quite well matched against the other, it seems, so far in, in, the, in the scores that we have seen. Do you have a prediction yet? Um, it'll... 
It'll be the team who can win that attacking round. So far, defence been very, very strong from both teams. It's uh, looking like it's going to be hard to break. The setups are extremely strong. So whoever can make a good play on attack, get the first two players down and then get that bomb down, that's the team that's going to take the map overall, really, because the defensive rounds are going to be pretty easy to get. So one player down from both teams so far as the bomb's gone down on A. Chilean's got the scope. Gets, uh, gets some tags on that nade. Not sure if he saw that player in the window of blue, but he's just going to watch that door. He did see him now. He doesn't seem like that player's going to poke. He gets stunned, and it's going to be up to uh, True Ambition to try and make a play. Let's jump on board with Physique, who's making a play up with the bell, pushing up greens. He's a player, but he's going to just put shots wildly out. Couldn't find him, and he gets taken down. And that is going to be the round. All three players dropping pretty quickly. X5, they take an attacking round. And uh, now I'm happy to say that I think X5 will be able to go on with this map. All right, so you have, you have a prediction made. Let's see if your predictions are going to be as good as a maniac's right now in this one. Because I hope so. If you were paying attention, if you were watching the other, the other day, he got every single one wrong. Um, and it was the reason why the other team lost. I, I'm, I'm openly happy to admit that. But, you know. We'll, That's we'll a caster's see, curse. We'll see if you're, you're the, the caster's good luck chop right now. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if that exists, to be honest, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see out. if it does. <laughs> we'll come on board with True Ambition, see what they can do. I'm going to jump on board with Zeke. He's got the bomb. He's going to push it extremely hard up towards green. Now, is he going to poke that bottom green and try and pick off a kill? Looks like he's just going to uh, play it a little bit slower. A few shots go out. Is he going to jump onto this bomb and start planning? He just baits it, sees if any shots are going to come out so his teammates could uh, poke and... Get a nade kill or a, or a snipe, but Kriv's going to be the first one to take a kill, taking down damage. And now, uh, True Ambition, they have the numbers advantage, and they should be able to get this bomb down on this side of the map. They're going to be wanting to, because you can see there's a massive amount of gunfire there in the background. Now, Fazink will be able to take down Fate there as well, making it into a 4v2 situation, as we do have... Of course, the bomb's still in the hands of Physique, but is he now going to be the last one alive? So he's going to be trying to just search for these players. There's going to be a player on the side skirts of blue there. Player's going to jump around in front of him. We'll be able to take down one. Second player looked like he might want to go to contest. Now, he's actually going to be holding his ground, and is going to be rotating all the way. Now, there's going to be a player watching through red. There's going to be a player on the bomb itself, and there's going to be a player right on that corner. Now, the difference, the difficulty for Ize is that he just needs to turn around. You can check that right corner. And up until now, there was a player covering that, but will he go and check this one? That is the question. The player was there. He'll go for these shots. He will be able to pick up that kill. Player's going to be contesting back here. The players spot him. And I actually thought that green catwalk was actually going to take a couple of bullets for him. But it didn't seem like they want to. That's going to make it 2-2. Two to two. Yeah, 2-2 two, two so far. And now we uh, have it evened up again. So uh, my prediction of the uh, team that wins one attacking round is going to be able to just walk through and win all the defenses. Already, uh, already wrong, but I'm going to stick with X5 in the search and destroy anyway we'll see what they can do now on their attack yet again and see if they can take uh, two attacks in a row so we'll jump on board with damage i think he's got the uh, he's got the bell out and i think he might be uh the one to get a few kills down ice in a second here. No, he's going to watch that purple side so no one really pushing and fate's going to take that first kill on h220k yeah, we're going to be seeing, of course, that become a 4v3 situation. Is there, though, he's going to be increasing his, uh, his his way forward towards this bomb site. Now, he's going to have a couple of players to possibly contest with him. Now, I do believe that's for Zeke, who's looking at a couple of shots over on the green catwalk, just buying a little bit of time. Now, because he's backed out of there, no one's going to be contesting. Is there, the bomb has been planted, and that makes it now into a 4v2 situation. Still, the round count becomes 2-2, two to two, and... Uh, yeah, physique's going to be all lonely, all by himself, taking on the world of XL5 in a 1v4 situation. He finally spots one, will be able to pick off the kill, and then gets shut down. Yeah, just going to point out Fate's play there. He pushed all the way through purple and out towards the enemy team's spawn as soon as he got that one kill out there. That forced... Uh, the players from True Ambition to be a little bit more hesitant when they were trying to rotate through blue to check over near purple and that allowed the bomb to go down a lot easier and as soon as that did they they just were forced to rotate into blue and Fate was able to pick him off easy as you like so definitely a good setup there from X5 definitely a set play there for them as soon as they got that kill to push through and a good round for them to take now it's up to True Ambition yet again to try and take an attacking round and uh, we'll jump on board with Carnage.
One, yes, he's going to take that kill on Fate over near Purple, and now they're going to try and push across towards A. Unfortunately, I missed the shot from Carnage to be able to take down that early kill, but we're on board with him now. Let's see if it'll make up for him. It does seem like no one's going to be on his way. So let's jump back on board with Kriv as he uh, he does have the bomb. He's going 1-5, and five, but he's got the bomb for himself, so he's going to try and play a little bit of that OBJ. And... Uh, yeah, he, he, is it? It's going to be taking down Carnage. So he's going to be uh, in, in a 2v3 situation. Did fire a couple of shots, though. Shields also take down Hunter. So Kriv's going to be last alive. A little bit of a lonely place here for a lot of the players from True Ambition. And every time, have you noticed, every time I say that, the player always dies. They don't like being yeah. lonely, it seems. Well, the, uh, the cast curse is always strong. And uh, whenever you're in a 1v3, it's always difficult to... Uh Difficult to try and take, and Kriv just wasn't in a position to take that round at all. He is 1-6 and six as well, so struggling to get kills uh, regularly, let alone in a clutch situation. So 4-2 at the moment, 4-X5-T1. And we'll see whether they can do another good job on their attack. The last two attacks have been very, very strong, and uh, I guess well stratted out. So we'll see whether they have a, another one up their sleeves. We'll jump on board with Chilians. He's just trying to bait someone out of purple by just exoing around. But Tana, 220k. He's already taken down Issei with the first kill of the round. And Fate goes down as well. So a 2v3 situation now. Damage in Chilians versus H220k, Physique and Kriv. Let's see if they can just do this now. XL5, the bomb is down. So they're going to need to rotate to go and pick that one up. But... I'm on board with damage because he's watching over through this other side. Did he just spot one? It doesn't seem like he did. And uh, yeah, Chills is going to be over onto Elbow. So they, they're going to now pick up this bomb. Damage is going to have that in his hands. And Chills is going to see if he can spot one. Now the player was over to his left. And unfortunately, he didn't pay too much attention to it. He got taken down. And then damage, finally, now he will spot that one. So he's going to be cooking up the grenade. He's going to be throwing that back out there. Or getting the launcher to launch it back out there as he's uh, in a 1v3. So, you know, you did mention earlier on that 1v3 is always difficult to get. Let's see if damage can make that uh, make that just look easy. He's going to spot one. He's going to get that kill. He's got 23 seconds remaining. The player's going to contest through the back here, and he's going to fire a couple of shots, but our player has gone back into the safety of his bio lab. Now, the bomb is starting to get planted here, and he's able to do so in time for that one. Both players are going to be closing on in the gap. He's going to spot one, but... He just won't be able to get the shots off to that right level that he needed to line up the shots to get that kill. Yeah, True Ambition pinched him well and Damage knew he had to contest someone, so he just tried to contest straight out into the snow area and wasn't able to pick up the kill. So a good round there by True Ambition to uh, once they picked up those first two kills. They just played the numbers advantage and got that round back there on defense. But as I was saying before, it's... Uh, the defenses that you really want to hold here on Biolab, the attacks are a little bit harder. So you'd have to think that X5, they're still, they'd still be feeling fairly confident to uh, be able to continue on with this lead that they do have. We'll jump on board with True Ambition, though, see what they can do. Carnage yet again has the scope, just watching over towards Purple, but I don't think Fate's going to make the same mistake this time, so he might swap off and jump on board with... Uh, who's pushing up? H220K seems to be uh, just sitting back, waiting for a rush. A bit of a slow push here from True Ambition. Yeah, I was actually on board with Physique as he was right there to uh, to get taken down there by Chills, but Hunter was able to pick up the kill there, evening it back up to a 3v3 situation. You do have damage, is and Fate taking on Hunter, Carnage, and Kriv. Now, right now with this one, these rounds are, are, are crucial for, for both these two teams because you got 4-3. You've got 4, you got four with, uh, with XL5. You've got 3 with True Ambition. True Ambition needs the round to, to tie things back up. And you've got XL5 wanting the round to, to try and increase to the lead. But, Locke, I've I got to ask you this question. If True Ambition get this round, do you see them taking it out? Um, I still feel like uh, X5 are going to take out the map. But True Ambition, they Definitely stepping it up, taking the last two rounds in a row, an attack and a defense now. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we, we do have, um, you know, this round in the kill camp. So, as I, you know, as I said in my last comment, True Ambition were able to take out that uh, that round. And, you know, 4-4 four, four is that overall count. But we're entering into round 9. We're, both teams need two more rounds. If they continue on a round for our bases, it's looking like XL5 will take it. But if, uh, if, if the team of True Ambition can, can get a consecutive round, they, they will be able to take the lead and be able to take the advantage in terms of that one. It's going to be XL5, though, with that attacking round. They're going to be looking maybe to the top of purple for these uh, for these shots. Ize decides against it. And he's going to be going through the other angle to, to try and make some plays. His teammate's making a little bit of a play forward as well into purple. And you see him right there. You know, you saw an 80. You saw him, and you see him going to contest that one. And Chills, he's not going to be over 
committing for it. But there is going to be a nade that well, I do believe was thrown there. Don't know where it ended up going off to. And uh, Chills, you know, he, he spotted one. He poked back and, and then he poked out and then he poked back into it. So, I, I don't know. His reflex time doesn't seem to be all there today. But, um, yeah, 3v3 situation. 4-4. Four, four, bomb planted. XO5 just need to oh. hold off. And two players left up. Maybe make that one. Damage is just trying to stay alive. Damage gets taken. But Physique, the last one alive in a 1v2. Yeah, 1v2 now, and Fate made a nice little flank there as soon as the bomb was uh, planted on B, pushed straight Ooh. through A, and there we go, the punch comes in, 5-4, and XL5, T1, they are one round away from tying up the series, 1-1 one, one here, but they still need that one round in True Ambition, they have shown that they can win a couple of rounds in a row, and there's uh, nothing stopping them from doing that, so, XL5, they still need to play well, let's see what they can do. In this next round, they're going to be on the defensive side, so we're going to see what tr where the true ambition can come back and make it 5-5 five, five and force this one to a round 11. We'll just have to find out indeed, because this is round 10 of this search and destroy. So as you mentioned, one round for true ambition, it goes to a round 11. One round from XL5, it goes for their map win, so they can tie up the series 1-1. One to one. Either way, though, we're on board with our attacking team, and that is going to be True Ambition. Physique with the bomb once again. But I'm going to just swap over to the player that's running a little bit more aggressively, being Kriv. Now, he's over onto the green side, getting a nade through the green catwalk. And, you know, he wasn't able to connect with that, but he's still playing a bit more aggressively than we normally see the, the True Ambition team play. And oh, he, he got caught. Pre -fire. He, got, he got absolutely predicted just in damage, shut him down. And was able to make that numbers advantage. I mean, you saw, you know, you, you call it, it was a pre-fire. He just predicted, hopefully, hoping that someone would be there. He was right. He was able to pick off that kill. And I mean, just like that, XL5, yeah, they, they, uh, they got the numbers. Yeah, they do. And uh, now True Ambition, they have to uh, try and get a pick here. Because uh, if they don't, they're going to end up in a situation like this with a 2v4. Now they need to make a push. Chilians takes the scope on uh, Hunter. So the... Uh, for Ambition Squad, they are under a lot of pressure. They're going to try and get the bomb down now, but Carnage goes down. Physique has to cancel that bomb plan. 18 seconds to get a 1v4. Picks up one. Tries to turn on the second, but he gets dropped. And that's going to be XL 5T1 taking out the search and destroy. And now we're going to move on to a map number three because uh, that's 1-1 one, one so far in the series. Yeah, that is going to be a capture the flag on retreat for that uh, next map in, in, the, uh, in the rotation. So... Still a best of five, still a standard best of five between these uh, between these two teams, and yeah, with that we are we are going to, uh, to to be seeing that played up next. So stay tuned to that. Don't go anywhere because we've got more action coming up next in the CGAWACS CGP League match between XL5 and the team of True Ambition. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the Cybergamer Advanced Warfare Astro Championship Series CGP League match between True Ambition and XL5T1. I'm likes to join by Lockdog, and this is Capture the Flag Retreat, map number three. Contrary to what the scoreboard says as a 1-0, it is 1-1 one one between these two teams, and I will update that. But Lock, we already have Fate picking up the flag and attempting to go for a flag wrap. Yeah, you get shut down, though. There is... Uh the team of True Ambition do defend their flag nicely there. Issa also trying to push up with that Al putting some shots out. We'll take down Kriv before getting dropped himself. Three and one for him to start off with. So yet again, we see in the respawns, Issa is the one that gets all the kills. Fate, two and one at the moment. He's got the flag yet again. Going to try it, run it, run it this pool side. He's going to go up on the roof, jump over that door to make sure no one can kill him off the cross. And he should be able to get around for the first cap of the game within the first minute. That he does. That makes it 1-0 to zero after a 55-second capture there from Fate. So he's going to be on a two-streak as well. You see Chilean's on a two-streak. Damage on a two-streak. Chilean's actually made it a three, and Izzy's on a one as well. So they're just on a tear right now. Cod Vision now on for you all, because Fate is leading to go for another capture. But he's playing a smart. He's going to be waiting to see if he can pick off a couple of kills first. And he's going to try and get a couple of shots there on, oh uh, on Hunter, but Hunter just turns it straight back at him and picked off the kill. Yeah, a lot of tags there by Fate. No kill, though. Issei's going to try and go in and pick up a couple of kills here. Just sitting right back on the stairs as a, a lot of shot goes out, but not a lot of tags, really. Damage also sitting back trying to defend here as he's putting 
Uh, some nades out, some stuns out, shots out as well. We'll take down Kriv. The flag carrier will run away with that one, though Carnage being able to get away down near Pool, but Damage finally getting the kill there to stop him. That Fate also picking up a double kill. But True Ambition, they all spawned over near Rocks. They should be able to get that one out of there. Fate has got the flag and he's running it back through the X5 lobby. So this is going to be a stalemate for a while. And we'll see which team can get the return and which team can get the cap. That's exactly right with these R2 players. Fate's going to be contested, but he's able to take down that kill. Now, swapping over to the other players from XL5, you've got Chilians just taking a little bit of a swim there in that pool. He's going to be chucking a couple of nades as well. Now, he did take down one, and he got tags with his grenades, but... You know, he's, he's not going to be able to pick up the kills with those EMPs just quite yet, as there is going to be a player there on those top rocks trying to get a couple of shots in. Of course, those players will now go to contest, and he's trying to back out of there. Now goes over to the roof, but I'm not too sure if he wasn't expecting the, the roof to be there or if it was just because of the stun, but he got taken down in the end. Now damage will fall, and the flag is looking like it could be returned, but no. Hunter gets denied, and the flag picked up there by Ize. Yeah, still a stalemate situation, and uh, Issa just sitting right back. He mates around him just to protect him here. As uh, so he's just, uh, yeah, same sort of thing. Physique, he's just sitting over on the rocks. Teammates around him prote to protect him. No team too urgent to try and get that return. Just sending one or two players out and one player just sitting back to defend. Usually you see these situations end in three players all pushing, but Physique gets taken down. The flag gets returned, and now Issei's got to make his way across towards his flag to try and get this capture in. There's a player on ring that should be able to put shots out towards him, but he just gets away, and that's going to be a cap for say 2-0 to X5 and Fate. He was there for the relay, but he got shut down. But still, 11-5, and five, he's dominating this game. He definitely is. And I mean, they, they've only got a minute and a half left in this first half. Then the sides will stop, and they can do it all again. But, I mean, they're, they're definitely open to a great start here as well. As, especially on the first one, which they did, you know, on the first respawn, which they did struggle a little bit on time to time. And, you know, unfortunately, they did have a little bit of a glitch. Couldn't stop the players, but... You know, we, we do have uh, Carnage now going to attempt to run this flag, but X5 all over him. The flag returned and 60 seconds remaining in the half. Yeah, still 60 seconds though. It's uh, plenty of time for True Ambition to get another or get a cap on the board, but as well, plenty of time for X5 to get another cap on the board to get 3-0 up. So we'll see what happens. Yet another stalemate coming out here for Zeke. He's going to be sitting the same spot over in Rocks and Issei. The same spot as well. So that he gets the stun out on Kriv. Takes damage. will take that kill. And just, uh, I think X5, they'll be happy to just defend here. It's going to be true ambition that they're going to have to make the play to try and get this uh, get this flag back for themselves. As Zeke just sitting right back, trying to be as defensive as possible. While his teammates push up, but his teammates all get dropped. He's trying to dodge around. He gets taken down. Fate's going to get that return. And Issei should be able to go in for this cap. Easy as you like. 3-0 is going to be the score at halftime for X5 over True Ambition. I mean, you said it uh, just before that play that there was plenty of time for True Ambition to get a cap in, but then you turned around and said, well, there's plenty of time for XL5 to get a cap in as well to make it 3-0 by the half. And guess what happened? It became 3-0 by the half. So I am thinking that the good luck charm cast the... Lockdog AU is that good luck charm. So, you know, you've been you've been fairly well so far. XL5 took out the SD. It became three to zero by the half. And I mean, just like that, they're 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 leading with that half time. And of course it is the WA host as well from True Ambition. It is on a neutral host though from them. And uh, you know, they they hopefully don't have the, uh, that that continuous issue, but yeah, we are gonna be having uh, and seeing what, what True Ambition could possibly do to catch back up here now that the sides are swapped. Yeah, well, the kills are still coming out of X5, regardless of whose host it is. Fate, 14 and 9 now, 11 and 6 for damage. And 6 and 6 and 11 uh, and 12 and 13 for Chilians and Issei. But the Slayer's doing their job, and Chilians getting... Uh, he was on a two-streak. Issei's got those two caps to his name, so he doesn't really need to get as many kills as uh, the rest of his team. He picks up that kill, and he should be able to get that return, but he's just going to leave it there for the moment. He's waiting to try and get some more kills, but he will get that return in the end. So X5, they're going to play this uh, this half fairly slow, I would assume. They don't really need to push up too much. They still want to put pressure on the enemy team's flag because if you play too defensive, then you get four down and you get pushed out of your spawn, and it's going to be easy caps for True Ambition, but they, uh, they are going to play it slow, and Chilians is going to try and make a play on this flag right now. Let's swap on over to him to see what he'll be able to do in this play. Now, 
He's over onto uh, on, onto his side of the flag, and he's actually going to be de just defending and just doing a great job at that one. I mean, what a play there for him to just just sit back on defense. I mean, he's had he had his teammates there to support him as well, but they were able to just stop them from making a run. They had three players going to push that one, so now he's going to be making a play on the other end flag. But he's going to be getting shot at, and he uh, he did stop just for a moment, of course. No reason why, no particular reason. Just took, stopped, took a breather, got taken down eventually. But now Hunter, you're going to be running this flag over this pool side. Gets a couple of shots in, misses a couple. And uh, the flag still in the playing field there on that pool side. It's going to be picked up there by Carnage, but then contested. All four players from True Ambition have been taken down. Right now, I'm looking at Chilean's picking up the opposing flag. And he's going to be going for a little bit of a run, it seems, as he waits. He knows there's going to be one at cuts, but he tries to go for it anyway. Yeah, he knew that was going to be one at cuts, was waiting for damage to try and pick up that kill. Damage might have called him through, and there was probably a player inside the lobby that took down Chilean's there. So, unfortunate uh, for that one. But Issa is actually going to grab the flag. He's going to run it inside, and he looks like he's going to go towards the courtyard side. No, his teammates clear it out. Chilean's picking up a nice kill there on the pool side, and Issa is going to continue to push around towards rocks, towards his flag, and I don't think anyone's in a position to stop him. That's going to be 4-0 in favor of X5. And at this point, with only two and a half minutes left remaining, it's going to be very hard for True Ambition to come back into this CTF. I am utterly confused right now. We had one of the players from True Ambition hiding behind the desk in lobby. Now, I was seeing him from the minimap, and I knew he was where his position was from it. He was waiting at one doorway. He didn't see Ize, which is fair enough. He then saw the icon, so he turned around, and he saw Ize go completely past. And another player was there, but he then got distracted. He then got unfocused, and then he got, you know, he got ended up letting that flag go in, and then getting taken down in the process. And that has allowed a 4-0 lead for XL5. Now, both right now at this situation, both teams have their opposing flags. They're going to be running in the same direction as well as Fate does see Carnage. He sees the blue from the flag, but he will get shut down. That has allowed Carnage to go for that return and now go on in here for what's looking like going to be their first flag cap. They're not going to be contested in doing so. And finally, they're going to be able to get that first point on the board. With 1 minute 40, might have just been a little too late. Yeah, Chilean started running pool there, and his teammates all spawned over on bar. He probably could have gone through uh, towels and tried to cut back to Woods Courtyard to have some more support of his teammates, but he tried to just take on the flag carrier head-to-head -head and didn't come out on top in that gunfight. So the first cap goes in, as you said, for True Ambition, but still, there's only a minute 18 for them to get three caps and fourth just one to an overtime. So they have got an um, a uh, huge job ahead of them, and Fate actually going to grab their flag and start running at pool. He gets dropped, but the more pressure that X5 put on the flag, the less time Transition have of grabbing their flags for themselves. That is uh, is 100% correct there, as Kriv will be trying to push for this flag return. He will be able to do so, and now he's going to be pushing on these flags. Now, with 50 seconds remaining, you notice XL5, they're not pushing for an aggressive role here in this game. They're playing the passive game. And that has, uh, you know, that has allowed them to try and pick off these kills. That has allowed them to buy time. With 4-1, they need three caps to guarantee an overtime. Say 20 seconds a cap. Say 15 seconds a cap. They're out of time. They won't be able to catch back up. It'll be mathematically impossible. And XL5 will take that map, take the lead. And, uh, you know, going, going back to their host for an uplink, they might be able to take the series. Yeah, I believe it's 13 seconds for a cap on this map. But they were just... Just too hard for them in the end. They got one cap on the board, but as you said, 2-1 now for X5. And it's uh, going to be a big job for True Ambition to try and arrest some of the uh, some of the momentum that X5 have built. Chilean is actually going to grab that flag and try and get some kills to get a few more points on the board. But it uh, doesn't really matter in the end of that map. Now we're going to move on to an uplink game. And uh, we'll see whether True Ambition's uplink game is a little bit stronger than their CTF because uh, they just really weren't competitive in terms of their rotations and their ability to get the cuts against X5 T1. Yep, and it is going to be an uplink on a biolab for that next map coming up. Between these two teams, True Ambition and XO5 T1. Now, we've got more action coming up next. Of course, at least one more map. However, you know... Stick around, stick around and see that final map. Don't just go now. You want to see the victor here of this series. So whether it's one more map or two more maps, we've got more action coming up next. And we'll be back soon with the next map after the short commercial break. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Cyber Gamer Advanced Warfare Astro Championship Series. CGP League match between XL5 T1 and True Ambition. Currently, the overall series score is 2-1. to one. And once again, I have forgotten to update the scoreboard. So it is 2-1. to one. 
Don't 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 believe the scoreboard. Don't believe the scoreboard. But it is two to one. Never believe the scoreboard. Fight. Never believe the scoreboard. The scoreboard is a lie. Currently, you're right. He's right now. But it is uplink and it is biolab and XL5 only need one more map to secure the series. Chileans. Uh, is going to be trying to run this one, and they, they went through their Oh base, my. And I thought it was actually going to be able to jump over his head and go through the roof and get a capture, but apparently not. Yeah, he just wasn't able to get onto that ledge and mantle up, but if he did, he would have got away from that player. That would have been amazing there from Chile. And it was an interesting uh, interesting pass that X5 take. They just grabbed that ball, rotated back towards their spawn, and look at this from Fate. He's going to go outside and jump through, but now he gets taken down. Two players there to try and stop him. The ball's going to drop, and damage is going to be up to try and get this one as he picks up one kill, but there's players all around it. They're going to jump off the edge, and that is going to be reset with no score on the board for X5. We are going to be having Ize though with the ball. He's going to be over into this Biolab players looking like they might want to contest. He's going to go for the throw though. Going to get shot in the back, but won't. What? Unfortunately won't be able to get that uh, point capture in. It seemed to just drop when he tried to throw it there. And uh, he didn't actually throw even though he didn't die. Usually, uh, usually if you die it just drops out of your hands. But... It just dropped out of his hands anyway, as uh, the first points on the board actually going to go to Carnage now. And True Ambition, they're 1-0 up, but the reset has come out, and Fate's going to try that pass. He gets taken down, damage got, goes down as well. Crib being able to pick up that double kill as this say takes him down in the end. H220K, he's got the ball, he's trying to get away, but he's not going to be able to. And Chilean's now going to grab that ball, they're going to try and push through Snow. Only one player left up. If they can take him down, Chilean should be able to go down out for this two-pointer as he slides his way across Snow, gets X, uh, gets... EMP, so he can't jump and doesn't quite get it through there. Is someone going to be able to get it? Yes, there is. Fate going to be able to put the first two-pointer of the game through for X5. That they do. So they're now going to be able to take the lead 2-1 to one and off the spawn. is a will be able to pick this one up. Fail is a little bit of that mantle, but that's okay because it's been a long day of Call of Duty and your movement's not going to be on the points so when you start in the, throughout the day for them, but you know, damage is going to be able to pick off one, pick off two. Ize is going to be going in for a run. He's going to be contested in the back, and there you go. He's able to go ahead and get that capture on the board for them, and uh, I am fairly sure that I am seeing someone not running Blast Suppressor. That's uh, interesting. There you, go. you can see it on the not, map. Not, not something you're used to seeing. Yeah, that would uh, happen to be uh, Hunter. He's actually not going to run that Blast Suppressor. He doesn't seem like he uh, feels he needs it in the uplink game mode, which is possibly a good thing. Uh, poss possibly give him an extra attachment or an extra perk um, to do something else with, because in the uplink it happens so quickly that the other team usually knows the spawns well enough that they know where you're going to spawn anyway, so it doesn't really matter if you give them a little bit of an extra help with the uh, map pop-up there. But Carnage, you're going to grab that ball 5-1 in favour of X5 at the moment. Going to pull up that shield and now going to try and go across and he's probably going to have to go for the 1 here because he doesn't really have a clear path to try and go for 2, but he's just working his way around towards circle, allowing his teammates to pick up the kills. Goes for the throw and just gets that one in 5 to 2. We're going to be having uh you know that 5 to 2 lead with a minute 20 on the board lock. XL5 have opened up to a nice start here for this overall match but I mean True Ambition they're, they're waiting up there they're trying to pick off these kills they're trying to set up for this next play and uh yeah that that, that is uh that's that's it really they they're trying to set up for this next play and, and pick off these kills but it took them that extra 15 seconds to actually pick up the ball and move forward with it yeah they weren't really able to get a, a quick setup going there and x5 were able to come off the spawns and just shut them down and now damage is going to grab that ball he should be trying to go for the pass here but he get, allows Issei to take that kill and now we can push up there's a player in elbow that takes him down now Kriv tries to push up Chilean's going to uh, get dropped by him there Issei now got the ball he's just pushing across past yellow going to go for that throw just bounce it off the uh, roof there and allow his teammates to push in as he did go get taken down. And I believe a point went through there for X5. So 6-2 with 20 seconds remaining. And unless someone makes a really quick push for that ball, I believe that will be the halftime score. But Fate has got it in his hands. If he can go for the long throw, he could make it 7-2. Let's see if he'll be able to possibly do that. He's just going to be ducking in, weaving in and out. He might be going for the throw. And there we go. That's going to be 7-2. And that is going to be your halftime score. I was actually thinking if it was actually going to be going for a, you know, for an actual two-pointer, but 
you know, he, he, he didn't end up doing that. He ended up going for that throw, as you mentioned. But that's going to be a, a great lead for them to really be having here uh, today. And to, to, for their CGP league matches, it, it's definitely a great sign. The other end of, of the stick here, Lockdog, is that at the moment, they, they only need to hold out for five more minutes. They, if they can hold out for five more minutes, they'll take out the map. They'll take out the series. And True Ambition will uh, we'll have another loss to their net. Yeah, it's not what you want if you're uh, if you're from True Ambition. So uh, X5, they just want to continue to push and continue to do what they've been doing for the entire uplink game. Damage picking up a nice two piece there, 19 and 12. He always goes huge with that bell on this map in uplink. He uh, is just such a dominant player. He allows his teammates to just rotate around the map a little bit less contested as they'd usually be. And Fate now trying to pick up kills will take down one as Issa is going to grab that ball now pushing through purple. I think he's going to go straight towards blue and try and get this one pointer because the team of True Ambition are going to all be spawning up because his teammates weren't able to push Ooh. him to the spawn. He should be able to get through for that point, but he didn't quite get it. That ball's been picked up by Kriv though. All four players from X5 go down and they have spawned snow, so they might be able to stop this cap. Kriv going to try and go through, slides in, and there we go. There's the two points, seven to four, three points the difference between these two teams. Three points the difference is easily achievable here in that four minutes that we have remaining. It's not even a point a minute for a, for a guaranteed... Of, I mean, it's a point a minute for a win. As you do see the XL5 team trying to go for that throw. And a fight way off target going actually off the map and now being forced to reset at that blue snow. Now it's going to be Chilliance who's going to pick this one up. Damage is going to focus on getting these kills. He gets one, he gets half on another, and Chills is uh, is just going to be looking which way does he want to go through. He's, he's trying to jump up. That's going to be something I've noticed on Eze and on, uh, on Chilliance. They're trying to jump up and, and mantle on the uh, on the top of, of those blue buildings, the purple buildings I've set it on. They just can't get, at, uh, get it hit. Yeah, sometimes it just uh, does block you off on those edges. You can actually stand right on the edge and have a little bit of head glitch going. So sometimes they get caught there not being able to get up. And uh, Issei trying to go for that one pointer there. Wasn't able to get the throw out. Fate going to pick up that ball. He's going to try and go for the same thing. Throws the ball out. That's going to be a one pointer. The intercept didn't happen for True Ambition there. And 9-4 to four back to a five point lead for the team of X5. And now... There's only 2 minutes 45 remaining on that clock. So they've just held the lead the same uh, same amount of points difference. And they've just wasted some time here, X5. That they have. And, uh, you know, Kriv's going to be having this ball. and going to be going in for a little bit of a throw in. Unfortunately, didn't really make the cut. But damage with this ball. Is, is, he's, you know, he didn't want to throw it out and reset it. He's going to be going for the long run itself. And he's managed to get out past into green. And... There's going to be two players to contest him. He's going to go for the EMP. He's going to try and stun them and try to go for a dash. A little bit, be a little bit of a sneaky beaver, but he did get shut down in the end. Now with this, we're going to be having Fate trying to get and gather that ball, but it will be Carnage ultimately who has it for a moment more. And uh, before he gets taken out, so damage off that spawn. He'll be getting it once again, and he'll be going for these two pointers. No, he'll get, he'll get EMP'd, and now he's just going to be waiting for it. And there we go. He makes it a reality. 11 points to four, two minutes on the clock. Yeah, big uh, big difference now between the two teams is damage just play that well. As soon as he got EMP, a lot of players just run straight under the capture point trying to jump. As soon as the EXO comes back, they're going to jump through it. But damage, he was smart. He went back into cover, waited for the uh, EMP to wear off and was able to jump through. Another cap goes through for Fate. 13 to 4, that's going to be a 9 point difference with a minute and a half left to go. And X5, they're just continuing to throw the ball, trying to get as many points on the board as possible. Fizik, he's going to grab that ball and try and run it in 4-2. As he's going to go wide, he knows that there's going to be players in snow. Waits for his teammates to go and cover him as he gets the shots out. Going to let his teammate go through for that capture, 13-6. to But I believe X5 have started off and they've played the reset, so they're just going to stop True Ambition from picking this ball up again. Yeah, and I mean, with 60 seconds remaining and seven points of the difference, that definitely is, uh, is going to be trying. Is, is going to be a smart move for XL5 to just try and keep them off that ball. But it is going to be Damage who tries to, uh, you know, tries to go for a little bit of run. Of course, it might be in, in, in their best uh, interest to just throw the ball over onto a roof, force the long respawn, draw out that time, and then go from there. But it doesn't seem uh, to, to, to be 
what's currently happening as Carnage has this four is going to be running out to the Picking up the melee hit there on Chilean's physique will take down one damage, will take down another, and the kill feed just continuing along right there. But the ball, the important part here, the ball being reset. 13 points to 6, 25 seconds left, not enough time remaining here for these teams, and that's going to be XO5 taking out this CGP League match. Yeah, XO5 played extremely well, just uh, not able to do anything, a great deal on that hard point. They played well in the first half and uh, just dropped off in the second, but since then, they have uh, really just been the dominant force that we've known them to be in the last, I guess, year or so. And 14-6 uh, to 6 there is the final score, a difference of eight points. And, uh, yeah, just a extremely good uh, team effort by X5 to get that win, to get those points on the board for the CGP League and uh, uh, can keep them in that top four. Yeah, and uh, I mean, yeah, that's exactly right. They're going to be able to now go you know, into an extra an extra positive, keep them up there in that top four. And it rares, uh, you know, the, the team of True Ambition, they had, a, they had a great moment as well where they were able to take down in that previous round. You know, they were able to take down their, their victory on that. Of course, all matches are finalizing and, and, and going through tonight as well. So next week's challenges will be sent out tonight and we'll be able to you know, get some more action throughout the week as well. But that brings a conclusion here to our stream. Big uh, you know, congratulations to, to Mesh Bretato for his FIFA win, for Planetronics Mind Freak on their uh, pay-to-play OC number four win, and for XL5 for their win here in this CGP League match for in our Baron Robin period. But you know, as, as all, uh, all good things come to an end, we, that is the end here for our production. A very, very long production here because we started a series earlier than we all... Rather, we started earlier than we normally would. It ends up only being a series earlier because of how quick the loser bracket matches were going. But I did have the intentions of doing more than just one series, just because of how close the winners bracket was to how quick the uh, how quick the loser bracket ended up being. It just didn't end up being that case. But we do have plenty more of action coming up this week. We do, of course, have our uh, our CGP league matches having, happening all across the week. Whenever these teams decide to schedule them, we also have our uh, midweek on Wednesday. Be sure to sign up to that if you want, au.cybergamer.com. But aside from that, aside from Cybergamer itself, we also have the, oh, they also have the, uh, the does play, does play, have their own LAN event, their first LAN event coming up this weekend in the sunny Sign uh, Gold Coast, right there in that one. And because uh, Lockdog is a head admin there, I'm going to let him talk about it for a bit. Hey, well, uh, as you said, Mike, our first ever LAN event for does play. It's going to be on the Gold Coast there in uh, Broad Beach Waters. And uh, hopefully everything goes well. We've got 10 teams signed up and paid already. Hopefully there's going to be a few more sign up um, between now and Thursday and then even more possibly on the day. So make sure to guys to turn up. It's free to spectate if you don't have a team. Make sure to rock up and uh, support whichever team that you want to support. Also, uh, Hopefully, if you, if you can't get down, but tune into the stream, twitch.tv slash doesplay. Um, for that one, for those who do want to compete, it's going to be a $170 for a team pass. If you want to pay uh, individually, it's $50, uh, $55 per player. That includes GST. So, uh, yeah, make sure to sign up ASAP so we can uh, confirm numbers and uh, get everything going, guys. So, yeah, hopefully it goes well. Hopefully it does. I'll be there. I'll be casting with you, Lockdog, alongside Dr. Curry. I do believe that is the full casting lineup for that one. Yep. Yep. So uh, yeah, so far. Um, also, on day one, obviously, it's pool play. It's our first LAN. So we just want to try and be as inclusive as possible. So if you um, have tried out casting before, or even if you haven't, um, and you want to give it a go, send me a message uh, beforehand sometime this week, and... Uh, I'll uh, run you through some things, and maybe on day one we can get you on and uh, have a few guest casters on throughout the day. Uh, hopefully uh, it all goes well. Hopefully it does. Like I said, I, I'm actually excited for it because it's the first time I'll be going to the Gold Coast. It's the first time I'm actually going up, uh, up, up north. Past uh, you know, past Sydney, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a great time, and I, I I'm actually looking forward to it. But um, yeah, we'll be back on you know one of these days during the week for our CGP match, or at least 100% on Wednesday for our midweek. Um, unfortunately, we won't have any Sunday ODCs for a while because we have does play land this week, and next week and after that is the ACL Pro 
5K series, and then the weekend after that is the Call of Duty Championship. So we're not having any Sunday only season until that weekend after, so the fourth weekend after that. So, But we'll have all our midweeks constantly throughout that period, and of course we have our CGP League coverage as well. But that wraps up our coverage here for tonight's uh, CGP and CGOWACS ODC. Uh, but you know, remember to follow us on our social media outlets. You've got our Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Cybergamer Network. Our YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Cybergamer.com AU. Our Twitter at CGXboxAU. And this MLG.TV channel. At the bottom left, there is a follow button. If you haven't pressed it, feel free to go ahead and do so. It's much appreciated. But until next time, I'm Mike's John by Lockdog, and we'll catch you later. Yeah.